Hi, how's everyone doing today? My name is John Moran with Greenlight Property Management and today we're here at 215 North Avenue in Springtown, Texas. Zip code at this property is 76082. This is a four bedroom, one bathroom home. Uh, the square footage is 2,276. Here's kind of a layout of the front. Uh, as you can see here, pretty good size front porch, uh, you know, and it's covered. So that's, that's always nice. You do have a sidewalk here that accesses the backyard as well as one here that accesses, there's a side gate here as well as a regular side door gate uh, here. So here's kind of a layout of the front, some good space here to park. And then you can also open up the back gate. Uh, and then if you wanted to, you could park kind of here in the front of the property. Uh, so pretty good layout of the front here. Lots of good parking space, nice covered front porch area. So, Let's walk in and check it out. So as you walk in here, you can see it's a pretty nice little layout. Uh, to me, the outside almost looks like a dollhouse. Um, but then you come in and it's like super uh, Colorado and, um, you know, and it looks really good, but very spacious. As you can see here, you have the original hardwood floors. And so it's a pretty good sized living room in here. Get you in this corner over here. Now over here to the right, um, this is kind of a, you can use it as a master uh, or a primary, or you could use it as an office space. Um, but it is considered an actual room because it has a closet. And so, get a better view of this room here. Got the double doors there that close. And so very nice. Now this door here, we'll check out the bathroom here in a second, but this door here um, actually leads into the bathroom. That's what I was kind of saying. You could use it as a, a master um, because it leads into the bathroom or you can just use it as an office space depending on how many bedrooms you need. So before we go upstairs, we're gonna finish here downstairs. So let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. As you can see here, just your generic bathroom. You got a vanity toilet there with a mirror. Some nice church glass there. Uh, good storage over here. And then here is the tub uh, slash shower here. You do have a rod, you know, just in case you want to cover it up. But um, this is the only bathroom in the house. Uh, now I know you see, um, you know, spots for jets in there. <clears throat> we unfortunately, uh, are not able to get it to work, but it were it functions and works just like a regular bathtub. So, and it's a good size. Um, and so you, you could, uh, you know, fully, uh, spread out in there. So that's pr pretty nice. Uh, also here in the bathroom, you do have a small closet, uh, which is very nice. And it's actually pretty deep into there. So, and then here actually in the bathroom is where the washer dryer setup is. Uh, now you do need a stackable. Um, so you would need a stackable washer dryer. You have both plugs there with that GFCI. So um, just, just whatever makes it work. So Now we're going to walk on here into the dining. As you can see, the hardwood is uh, is pretty common throughout the entire house and up into the upstairs. Um, but you'll see that the bedrooms upstairs are carpet. Uh, but one thing that's cool about this house is the, the ceilings are raised. So you get a lot more. It feels like it's more space than it is just because the ceilings are raised. So... Then we have the kitchen area. It's going to be the same tile as the bathroom. And so just a pretty generic kitchen. As you can see there, beautiful white granite countertops, good cabinet space. Uh, you also have oven range over here to the left, as well as a microwave uh, that has a vent in it. So, you know, anything you cook on the stovetop, you're good to go. And then as you can see over here, we have a dishwasher 
And so, and the sink does have a garbage disposal. All right, so we're gonna walk upstairs, check everything out up there, and then we are gonna come back down and check out the backyard last. And so, going up the stairs here, as you can see, we still got that hardwood. And we're gonna veer here to the right. This is gonna be the first bedroom upstairs. All the bedrooms are gonna have carpet. Um, but as you can see, this bedroom has uh, the best storage. So um, this, is, this would be really good for like a baby's room uh, or a kid's room. You could store toys uh, in here. So you can do that actually on both sides. So. It's pretty nice. You can kind of make that whatever you want. If you want to make it like a little nook bench seat, you can. So. And then let's check out the last two bedrooms. So we're going to fear here to the left. And this is gonna be the second upstairs bedroom here. As you can see, carpet. And just your, your pretty basic bedroom, regular size closets. Um, but the, the bedrooms are actually a pretty good size. This one is, is pretty big, uh, as well as this third one over here. And so the bedrooms upstairs are, are pretty big. Check it out from this way. You have two bedrooms in each window. So as you can see, I could honestly turn off the light uh, on the ceiling fan and it would still have really good light in here. So, all right, let's head back downstairs and uh, we'll check out the, the backyard. Now this is actually my favorite part uh, about the house. It's just so big um, and there's lots of space. Uh, you do actually have an older windmill. Now the windmill does not work, but it's a really nice uh, aesthetic to the backyard. So as you can see here, pretty nice, um, but very good sized backyard. This is just the left side of the backyard here. And then it kind of flows on around over here. And as you can see, we have two big storage sheds over here. So that really complements the, the house very well. Uh, and I'll show you that here in a second. But <clears throat> here's a layout of that side yard. Uh, so this in the front is where the gate was. And then there's one right here behind this bush. So... Really nice size backyard. And then let's check out the storage sheds. This one is just kind of a basic storage shed. And so you are able to you know, lock it up if needed. And then this one here as well, it's actually a pretty good size storage shed that actually has, you know, storage up here. So nice little setup here in the backyard. That's why I'm saying it's my favorite part. Just so much space, um, you know, and you don't necessarily have to store a lot of things in the house because you have two sheds out here. So that's always nice. The more storage, the better. And here is the back of the house. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, my name is John Moran with uh, Greenlight Property Management, and this is the marketing video for 215 North Avenue in Springtown, Texas. Thank y'all.